I feel the dark road was wet with rain After a summer shower When I saw you standing Standing in the garden In the garden Wet with rain Hi, Mark Cram for SpicingUpYourLife.com. Well, it's been almost a month since our last uh, tour of the garden. It's now the uh, 12th of July. So, um, so let's get in and see what's happened over the last few weeks. Well, we're going to start outside the garden today and uh, just take a look at uh, everything. Our, our herbs are doing well, although um, the, uh, the bee balm got beaten down quite, quite uh, severely by, uh, by uh, rainstorms. So... We had to thin out the bee balm a little bit, but uh, you can see that our uh, Hawaiian, our pineapple sage is uh, is doing quite well, as is uh, is, is our regular sage. Um, you can see that the um, squash is starting to uh, slow down here a little bit. We had to cut some out. Uh, our cucumbers have uh, really taken over, uh, <laughs> climbing up uh, our uh, our fence here. Uh, anything that lays outside the fence, the, the deer uh, are able to get at and get a little bit of a nourishment from, so that's, so that's one thing. But uh, anyway, this is, uh, we've had a lot, a lot of rain, and it's, uh, it's now um, uh, very, very warm, so we're going to be over 100 today. Uh, but let's go inside the garden and take a look at uh, individual items. Well, you can see some of what's happened here. We've gotten... Uh, uh, a lot of rain. Our tomato plant uh, over here is just, uh, in fact, been so heavy it broke the the stake here and it's now laying down on the ground. We do have uh, a squash here that needs to be picked. We need to get that. That's a, a little overgrown, but uh, we'll use that for something. Maybe we'll stuff that squash. Um, we've got a few other squash in here. Uh, but we're probably a week from having the squash be completely done. Uh, you can see our tomatoes, uh, again, uh, doing quite well here. Definitely need to pick some of those today, and we will be making some tomato sauce later on this morning. So uh, we definitely have uh, quite a bit inside of here that we have to do something with. Um, our sweet peppers have gotten quite large here. Um, so we need to... Uh, and we're waiting for those to turn red, uh, although we've used some in uh, some of our other uh, dishes here. Uh, one of the things you can see is just the size of some of these are very, 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 very large and very, very nice looking. Um, oh, we got one here that doesn't look so good here. These aren't, these aren't doing so well. We'll have to do something about that. We've already made some uh, hot sauce from our uh, Bulgarian carrot peppers, so that's been good. Um, we picked a bunch of our Thai hot peppers yesterday, so we've got uh, some of those ready for some sauce. You can see that our dill is, uh, is very, very um, well established here. We've started getting some okra off of our uh, okra plants here. You can see some okra. Uh, inside there, and uh, again, that'll s actually start reproducing even more as we go on here. So, uh, our Malabar uh, spinach, again too, we've uh, had a few meals of that. Uh, overall, uh, we're fairly pleased inside the garden here. Uh, although, like I say, we've had a lot of rain over the last couple weeks, and which is good for the garden. But again, it's uh, you can see what it's done to our dill. Um, Again, tramped down. We've had some very, very hard rains. Um, and uh, you can see that uh, some of our wild hibiscus in the back is starting to bloom. Uh, these are seeds that I put on the ground probably two or three years ago and are now starting to, uh, to come up. We've got um, some of our wild cucumber here. We've got a lot of grass in here, so it's really hard to see if there's any cucumbers inside here or not. Um, and the complicated, I've got a hose on the ground underneath here, which looks like a cucumber. I've grabbed it four or five times already. 
but uh, at any rate, uh, let's uh, let's move on to the other side of the garden and uh, take a look at what's over there. Well, you can see that our wild hibiscus is in full bloom right now, as is our Hawaiian hibiscus back here. Again, very, very beautiful when it comes uh, to this time of year. Uh, flowers done very, very well. We even have our uh, gardenia blooming again, which is very nice. Again, our lemon tree continues to thrive here, and uh, as does uh, the front side of our garden as we continue to uh, pinch off the old buds and the new buds coming. We've had a pretty good uh, year with our gladiolas. Uh, they just don't stay bloomed long enough, unfortunately, but uh, this year they all seem to be standing up fairly well. In the previous years we've had to uh, stake most of them up, but they were, I think, a little larger plants at that point in time. So, um, again, we've got blooms on the way. Some of our plants have done very, very nicely. Our, these dahlias uh, that I planted last year are just gorgeous, and uh, uh, we're enjoying those very, very much. So. Uh, as you can see, the, the garden seems to be thriving well, and we're happy with uh, what we've gotten. And, um, well, we hope to just continue to get some more so we can continue our canning process, uh, saving our, especially our tomatoes and, and uh, peppers for the fall. So uh, we look forward to continuing to uh, tour you in our gardens and um, look forward to whatever lies ahead as we move forward. Thanks again for being with us today in our little garden tour. Uh, we will uh, see you next time with more exciting news from SpicingUpYourLife.com.